In this video, we will be deploying a Node.js application in our Azure App Service. Uh, this is my Azure uh, web, web app uh, sitting on an Azure App Service plan. So this is the stack Node 18, the minor version Node 18 LTS. Let me quickly save it. So this is the app where I'll be deploying uh, a, you know, a demo Node.js application. So the, that app is nothing but just a, you know a basic index, and I'll just try to deploy that using local Git. So in this uh, video, we'll be going through the deployment via the local Git. Uh, this is my application files. These are my application files. So these are the views. This is the index. Basically, just says uh, this is just a demo, and we'll come to Node.js and the title. Uh, if I run this locally, npm start and you can see it's running locally so the application is fine this is my app service currently nothing is deployed it has the you know the built in uh, you know web page that microsoft gives you and all right so let's configure the local git so you go to the deployments uh, deployment uh, section and then the deployment center these are the options you have we will be using local git for this one so select local git and if you see the branch is master it it will be handy once you save it so what happens is nowadays you when in your local git you have main as your you know uh, the default branch but as you saw our uh, app service still has master as the default branch this is my application uh, we will be creating a remote for our uh, app service currently we are on the main branch so let's quickly add the remote so this is the url i will copy that url it will come handy uh, that's where your local git uh, credentials are stored we will need that later but for now let's quickly add our remote so that's the command get remote add and then i'm giving a new name azure and then the uri i have copied it and then let's this this is the you know url uri that we have copied from the deployment center so let's copy the entire command go back to our visual studio code in the terminal let's paste it and run it let's paste it and that's get remote add and azure is the name of my remote and the uri uh, remote azure already exists so I, I already added it so it might exist uh, let me check my get remotes and that's already existing that's fine uh, you will not get it because you're adding it for the first time i have already you know tested it before the demo so yeah so uh, the next part is this where your locally your default branch is main but in azure app service the default branch is master so while you do a push you need to you know uh, push the main into master so the command would be get push azure from local main into your remote master so let me just press enter and it will ask for your credentials so get credential manager this this will pop up uh, if you go back to your Azure App Service, your deployment center, go to local git FTPS credentials, uh, copy the local git username. Paste the username here. We will need the password. Paste the password here. and then click ok once you click ok the push will start and if you see the push is in progress it's doing the deployment 
build operation has started and if you can see there are zero errors and zero warnings and the deployment has successfully completed now let's go back to our browser and let's see the app service let's see the logs for deployment uh, might need some refresh let's go back to settings okay Yep, so if you can see the status has come up as success for the last deployment. Let's go to our website and refresh it. And yes, uh, it has successfully deployed. Uh, if you can see, uh, this was what we had in our index.js. And that, that that's good. Uh, let's make some quick changes here and uh, push it again just to, you know, show some new changes uh, popping up in our website i'll go to my index.js in my routes i'll just change this title to fitness geek and that should you know once i push this uh, particular change after committing it will be visible in our website so i have done that i'll save this and then I'll have to commit this. I'll just go ahead and quickly commit. Add a message. And commit. Once committed, I'll need to push this again. I'll do the git push Azure main and colon master. So the changes in my main will get pushed to my master in my remote, which is your uh, Azure website, the Azure web app. Uh, since this is a very you know simple app uh, it, it takes like almost no time in deploying uh, if you have a uh, big files and big you know big zip file it will take a lo lot longer than this uh, so error zero warning zero and app is successfully deployed we can go back to our website and do a quick refresh Let's refresh this. If you can see, uh, the new logs are visible in our deployment center. Let's go ahead and refresh this website and you can see the title has changed. So that that's all. I mean, we have deployed our application via local Git in Azure App Service. So if you found this video helpful, uh, please do like and subscribe to this channel and keep supporting. Thank you.